Welcome. In front of me is a Lenovo Tab P11 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now as you can see, for me the tablet I have in front of me is locked and I can unlock it using the previously uh, utilized pattern or using the again previously signed in Google account. But assuming I don't know either of those, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can bypass this. And it is a pretty simple method. Anyway, so to get started, you want to progress through the setup till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page and you simply want to connect to Wi-Fi. As you can see, I have already done this. Once you connect to it, you can then back out to the beginning of the setup right over here. Select vision settings and then you want to select talkback and simply enable it. Now this will probably be annoying. Talkback on. Yep. Welcome. Great. There we go. So I did mute it completely. You can do so as well if it's uh, loud and obnoxious to you. Now, the way you navigate through these little uh, toggles that you'd normally just swipe up and down on, you need to use now two fingers to do the same thing. So on the little guy, like the, as you see in this little icon of a human, you just want to swipe down with two fingers on it and this will mute it. Anyway, once you have your talkback open like this one with a green outline going around it, uh, you'll probably realize that the screen doesn't work anymore as it used to. So now to navigate through the options, you need to, well, to swipe up and down, you use two fingers, and then you can select each option by single and tapping on it like this. It will read whatever is in here. It doesn't really matter what it does, but just kind of mentioning this. So anyway, uh, you want to have this selected and then draw a kind of like a mirrored L on the screen. So you see just going kind of like this. And this will bring up a window with the first option while using the app selected. So just double tap on it. Then single tap use voice commands. And before you double tap on it, I'm just going to quickly explain what we need to say because this will need to be verbally uh, told to the device. So once you double tap on it, you will hear a beep uh, signifying that the device is not listening to you and you want to say open Google Assistant. You will have two more beeps most likely that signify that one beep that accepted your command and the other one that now Google Assistant is listening to you. Once that happens, you want to follow up by saying open YouTube. Let me just make sure, but I believe it's YouTube. Yep, so, so I'm going to do this right now and you can hear and see the way I do it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. I'm not exactly sure if you could hear those beeps um, on the microphone, but uh, obviously in your end, you probably will on your device. Um, anyway, once you have your YouTube open like this, hold volume up and volume down at the same time. So both of those keys. Select turn on, double tap, and then hold volume up and down once more. This will disable talkback. So now we can just simply tap and do the normal like navigation through the device. So you want to select the account icon from here, navigate to settings. Then we're going to select about. Let me quickly make sure what we need to select next. Okay, that's a little bit weird. We should have help and feedback right here, but we don't. So, I will try to do this in a different way because like I said, we don't have help and feedback in here. Maybe on about, send feedback. Okay, so as you can see, uh, normally throughout the guide, if there is one linked in the description, uh, it tells us to, act, to go to help and feedback, which would be right under the settings that we pressed on. 
uh, but there was no such option so I'll try to go a little bit of a more round way around it just to get to the place that we need to be. So we're gonna select uh, Google Privacy Policy, accept and continue and actually I don't think this will work. Oh no, never mind, it will. It opens up a normal browser. From here, simply select the search bar and type hard reset.info slash bypass. If you need a moment to copy it, do pause the video. From here, let's select consent from here on a scroll down and simply tap on the settings. Then scroll down again in settings and you're looking for something like apps. Where is it? Oh, there we go. So I missed it the first time around. And in here, we're gonna select see all 40 apps. Tap on the three dots and also select, oh, actually we don't need to select show system, it's already showing them. So start off by selecting Android setup, right over here. Tap on force stop and okay. Then you're gonna back out once and scroll down to Google Play services. There we go, select Google Play Services, and in here we're gonna now select, let me just quickly check it out. So we're gonna select Disable, and Disable Up, and also Force Stop, and OK. Next thing we're gonna do is back out, and we're looking for Smart Launcher. I'm gonna just quickly check something out. Actually, we don't need to lo look for that. Uh, like I said, I'm just kind of seeing what we need to do because we did get to the same place in a different way. Uh, we don't need to actually open up Smart Launcher. We can just back out, which will take us to the main settings page, which is what would, what uh, you would want to access anyway. And from here, you want to navigate to accessibility, scroll down and find accessibility menu, then toggle it on. Select allow and got it. Am I blind? Where's my little guy? Allow. It's supposed to add this little thing. Use accessibility button to open. Uh, to use this feature, tap an accessibility button on the bottom of your search or a screen. Uh, to switch between features, touch and hold the accessibility. I don't have the button, so that's. I hold it now. Ah, there we go. So we also need to uh, enable the second option. Anyway, so now that we have uh, done this, we're gonna now just back out to the beginning of the setup. So just start tapping the bug button. Uh, I also recommend muting it like this because the device is constantly trying to connect to Google Play services, which we have turned off. And without them, it's giving us a message that it can't connect to them, which doesn't really concern us, but it is annoying. So from the beginning of the setup, you're just gonna progress through the actual setup now. gonna select don't copy and what will happen is we will be stuck right here so it's gonna check for updates just a second and goes back to checking for updates so what we need to do now is tap on this accessibility menu button select assistant and tap on settings which don't always work as you can see so you might need to repeat this a dozen of times. We'll see how many times it takes me to actually get it. 
and hopefully you seen it right there there was an enable button somewhere like right here so you want to press on it this will enable google play services come on There we go. So it took me a decent amount of tries to enable it. As you can see, this was real time. Uh, so I'll mention this might take you more or less tries. So don't get discouraged if it's not working. Just continue to do the same thing as I was. Hopefully at one point you can manage to enable it. Um, also, speed might be uh, also a factor here. So if you can, you can try to do it a little bit faster by selecting the button uh, accessibility settings and then enable so the faster you can do these uh, things i think the quicker you can actually manage to enable it but and i mean uh, quicker as in less tries but once you have it enabled just go back once uh, i did tap on a screen just to get rid of the uh, google search or the google voice assistant because it was listening to me but as you can see, it just kind of skipped over the verification portion. So now I can finish up the setup. And at this point, you just want to select whatever is the quickest. So skip anything that you can, select anything that just comes under your finger, quickest, and this will in a moment boot us into our home screen finish device setup come on okay there we go so from here uh, there is one last thing that we want to do which is navigate into your settings no thanks scroll all the way down to system select our reset options and then you want to select erase all data factor reset erase all data and then press on this button once again now what this will do is erase obviously all data it's a factory reset of your device so it will take a couple minutes to finish up once it's completed you should be back in your uh, setup screen for the android so from there you can set it up however you want the device at that point will be fully unlocked and the reason you want to do this last thing even though you already have the access to your home screen is because technically the device is still unlocked at this point so performing a factory reset will ensure that the device gets rid of all the kind of any kind of security that it might have retained from the uh, previous user so with this being said this is how you'd bypass the google verification on this device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching